Uh, well, it wasn't pretty. <clears throat> but the last time I checked, pretty isn't one of the stats on this stat sheet. The only thing that matters is we got the win. It wasn't the prettiest. Some guys played well. Um, didn't execute to perfection down the stretch, obviously. But at the end of the day, we, we showed a will to win today. A, a win, a, a, a will to win. We showed that as a, as a group. And that's, that's how you um, come up with these victories. Um, and we're growing in that aspect. I mean, this is one easily could have went the other way. But we overcame all the mistakes, all the breakdowns, all the sloppy play. And, uh, you know, we have the turnover there late that Marvin throws away, which could have easily ended the game. They lay that ball in. But Stefan was like shot out of a cannon and sprinted back to get in front of Gomez to disrupt him. Luckily, he missed it, and we were able to come up with that ball. And um, Marvin did what I wanted him to do there late and off that high ball screen and was able to get in the lane. He drew help, got it over the top, and... How about Claude? Just keeps getting better and better and better. He's making strides. Still got a long way to go. Talk about the play that was the turnover. I guess it was supposed to go to Claude. He was supposed to come out at top or something like that. Yeah, that's on me to put that ball in Claude's hand at that, at that point. I told Claude, that's, that's on me. That's not on you. Um, we ran it twice in the game earlier, and we scored off it both times turns into a dribble handoff with Stefan where he turns that corner and I shouldn't have put the ball in Claude's hands that late in the game. That's on me to put that on him when he's just getting his feet underneath him. So, so talk about your emotion of like when they turn it over and then the very next play down the court it's Claude again in the middle of it. I'm so happy for him because you know it takes a lot of pressure off of him that something turns out the other way. He might have taken it on himself that he cost us this game but um, he keeps growing and you know, it's not an issue of what he does for us offensively. The issue for us is um, he's still got a long way to go in all aspects, but defensively. Um, but again, you know, in 20 minutes, 12 points and four rebounds, he's, he's just got to keep growing and keep getting better. It seemed like he disrupted a lot of shots, though, in the second half down on there. He's big. He's big. He's got long arms, and he's athletic. He's springy off the floor. So, you know, they're post guys. Um, I was worried about... I was worried about them coming in because those post guys are they're good and they've been good all year long and, and uh for whatever reason we did a good job on um Luis Me and um and Gomez um got his typical uh but we made it we made it hard on him. Um and, and again Claude contributed to that because he's big and he's you know, it's tough when you're six seven trying to score over a guy who's six eleven and, and two seventy five and can jump and's got long arms. So he did a, he did a great job um, of disrupting some things, and we protected them a little bit too in the play in the zone. I didn't want to get him trying to guard those guys head up as a freshman either. The, the freshmen were saying they never once doubted that they were going to lose the game, even when it got crazy at the end. And they said it mostly because they're at home. Talk about how that's so important that they have that mentality on this court. Yeah, it's but they got to get that mentality wherever we play. It's gets we get, that's mentality's got to carry over. Um, home or away. Uh, and with this tough road stretch we got we, we got coming up, we better find that attitude that we play with here, that we, we plan on winning that game. Got to have it on the road too. Got to have that belief, no matter where you play or who you play, that you're going to win the game. Did you ever doubt it? Was there any point like at that turnover? Uh, maybe on the turnover, it started to creep in a little bit. Um, you know, again, we, we can't, can't do what you did from the foul line. <clears throat> can't happen. In tie game and Stefan has a front end one and one and he misses it. Oh, just um, he was out of sync tonight a little bit. But um, again, that will to win is what I've been looking for. That we easily in this game, things weren't going right. We didn't shoot it well. We had some more turnovers than uh, um, we should have. But at the end of the day, we figured out a way to win the game. How much of the point of emphasis was rebounding? Yeah, it was, it was, it was a, you know, it was, uh, it's always um, a point of emphasis because it's such an Achilles heel for us. And again, of the 40 rebounds we got, surprise, surprise, our guards got 18 of them. And our starting center, Victor, and our starting power forward, Tavares, combined for 37 minutes and comes, they come up with two rebounds. It's an indictment on our team a little bit. So 
if we want to win the game, our guards have got to come back and help us rebound. And then again, Julian Stone doesn't come up with a brilliant offensive game, but it comes up with eight rebounds again. You know, we, so we've got to have our guards come back, come back in. Stefan gets five. Marvin gets five. Gabe comes in and gets four. Uh, and then Claude gets four. So it's an indictment on our team, but we've got to figure out a way to do it. And if our guards got to do it, it's got to happen. What's the one area, Coach, that you think that you totally need to step up in order to get a break on the road? Um, you know, the, the one area we got to do is we got to grow up. We had some guys pouting tonight. For no, absolutely no reason at all. Pouting. Um, got us out of sync a little bit. Um, so we, that's, we've got to grow up. We can't let, a, when that raindrop hits, can't let it affect everything you've got going on. Let the raindrop hit and let's move on. Next play. Guy will turn it over and I'll get on him. A guy will break, break us down defensively and I'll get on him. And then here comes the, the sad face. We don't have time for that. Too deep into the season. All right, guys.